Hi, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi coming at you again with another juicy message. Let's get straight into it. Um, let's talk about um, my, my struggle with Christianity. Let me tell you, I did a post. Um, a post prior to this one. It's called White History Month. There was a lady... She she was talking. Her name is Miss Christian, and she back in 2013 she got she got offended because the white cons, the white Christians she said should be praised, and the white Christian conservative men, you know, they should be honored. You know these are the, they're so boring. They are so boring, and they always try to come over here and mess with us. And this is. And this is my struggle with Christianity because these are the same people that started slavery. These white conservative Christians. And when we try to be great, they want to come over here and try to hinder us from progress. Because we started from the bottom and became great in spite of. Our ancestors can't had nothing and took nothing and literally made it into something. And they struggling trying to be great, but they have everything. Because of their pride, their ego, their envy, their jealousy, their hatred. Once you have all of that, you can never become successful. You can never be great when you harbor all that. That in, inside of you, you get, you get sick. You get illnesses and diseases. When you have all that resentment in you. And um, I want you all to look up Mr. Willie Lynch. Because he gave a speech to other slave masters. To try to use the psychology of the King James Version of the Bible which is the Christian concept to control the minds of the slaves and to keep them in, in, in control. And um, they want them to, King James wanted us to take, they said, Can obey your slave masters as you would obey Christ. So, and you would look up to the white man as a God because that's what the Bible said. The Bible was written by man, not God. And they wanted, they wanted us to, they wanted our ancestors to believe that so they can get free labor. They would work and not get paid wages. And, uh, and those who, who didn't believe in Christianity, they would beat them and burn them and lynch them and mutilate their bodies and rape our children and get the children pregnant at the age of 10, 11, and 12 years old. What kind of God would allow this? You know, that was, that was my thing. And uh, that left a bit of taste in my mouth, in the back of my mind. And um, that's why I became in love with my African spirituality, because it embraced the power and uplifted me to become one with the Most High. And it never um, speaks of inferiority. In fact, it prevents people from dominating you. And um, they gain energy from crystals and the sensitivity for different energies around from different people. And, you know, they would think deep and they would astral project, project and dreams. And they would just ask, they would project, you know, from the, the powers on their minds. And they would be flying like Superman. Superman was the, it was the first in Africa. He was the first man to fly. They would do this from the African spirituality. So the, the white people, they knew this. And when they came to Africa, they sought to take the powers. And they called it evil. And they called our, our spirituality witchcraft. And they defined it this way. And you go to hell if you believe in this and practice this. And so they were afraid of it. And the black men, they were afraid of the emotional highs and lows of the black men. And it scared them. And uh, so they killed them off and they sold them off and separated them from the women and children. And uh, the crystals were used as awareness and, and strength. And this is why um, um, this is why they feel that um, they can they keep keep division amongst the community, amongst men and women. And they want us to, you know. Praise the white male conservative Christians, you know, they, because they have a problem with black history. But no, I'm not praising them. They're not my God. These are the ones that enhance slavery. Like I said, they did it for power and the attention. They want all the resources. 
and um, they want they forced Christianity on our ancestors, and they were forbidden from practicing it as spirituality, which gave us, you know, the power, which is hoodoo and voodoo, and it gave them gave our ancestors boldness and confidence, and um, like I said, they raped and beat us, and forced us into slavery and manipulated our minds through Christianity. They wanted our ancestors to worship and believe in Christ and obey the, the words of the Bible. And, you know, obey the slave masters. And this, the, this blonde-haired, blue-eyed Christ was actually a pedophile in the Catholic community. And the Catholics, they had to, they had to worship something. They didn't want to worship the pagan god of Saturn. So they, they, they chose that blonde-haired, blue-eyed white man. You know, they, um, they mistreated that. The thing is, they mistreated our ancestors Monday through Friday. And then on the Sabbath day, they rested and they preached the word of God to prevent um, manipulation and control and anger amongst the slaves. So they had a slave. So they chose to be ahead of all the other slaves, to, which is a minister or a preacher, to keep the slaves in order and manipulate their mind. So if you can manipulate the mind, you control where the body would go, which is the concept of the King James Version, which is why Willie Lynch praised him. And on top of that, the Christians are so hypocritical in the church. This is two reasons why I'm struggling with my Christianity. They're so hypocritical uh, and keeps division amongst ourselves by gossiping and bite, biting and jealousy in the church, which is the Willie Lynch syndrome. That's what pushes people away from the church. They're doing this, not knowing that it was already embedded in them to do it. So not only does this history of Christianity... It hinders believers from attending church, but it also is the behavior of the saints in the church. The history of Christianity and the behavior of the people in church. Now, these are the methods that 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 designed to keep us mentally weak as a religion. You know, Willie Lynch gave that speech to the slave masters, like I said, to keep us divi divided amongst each other. That's why they he uh, he was talking about the skin color, used the age of the uh, slaves, the skin color, and the differences. That's why they had boxes boxing. And so they would praise them as not only as entertainment for the slave masters, but also to keep division and, and jealousy amongst the blacks so that they will praise the champions. And this is creating more of a, you know, more division. So they just, they would use different ways to, to say, oh, this one, she's doing better than you in the black community. And so it would be like, they would, okay, I'm going to have to do what I got to do to tear her down and, uh, you know, keep her from being great so I could be great. And this keeps division Amongst the uh, community so that they can control and dominate them. They said Willie Lynch said if you can if you can keep this divisive amongst the slaves, you can control them for 300 years. You can divide and rule them. You know, what kind of God would allow this to happen? You know, they will allow these men to, to, to beat and murder our children, impregnate the girls. And then kill the women, be, rape the women and, and kill the men. And once you do this, you would divide them and then they would go and pray to God for to receive blessings and favor. So it's like, you know, this is this is just this is just really this is just really been the been on my mind, you know, to believe in a God that would allow this type of behavior. You know, deep down inside, I got disgusted. You know, I would never praise and worship a white man or any other man for that fact that would insinuate this. And, and they want to control and manipulate all the resources so that they can be looked upon. They want they want us to, to come to them for everything. And then they want to compete with us and try to destroy our businesses and um, versus. And they want to, you know, try to they just don't want us to to be great. And they use these verses in the Bible. Slaves obey your earthly master. This is you would obey Christ. I don't, I don't know. And this mental that gives you, and this makes you mentally weak, so that this to allow them to do whatever they want to you, and then, and then this allowed them. So the man said, so this is what they would say. In order to keep the man mind weak, this would allow them to rape the children, kill the men. The men were the protectors of the family. They were the head of the household. So this would give them an excuse to sell them off and keep them in prison or in jail, which leaves the men, which means the women and children vulnerable to the slave masters. That's why the slave masters did have sex with the, the women and the children.
because the men were not around. The, the men, the black men are the defenses to the black women. So, so in our minds, we have to obey the slave masters as we obey Christ. And so the black women and the black children will treat the white men like a God, which make them, which will make us feel inferior to them. And we will have low self-esteem. So, but our, our, our spirituality gave our black people, our ancestors power to control ourselves and let no man dominate over us. And this made, and this made them fear us. So they would use guns and other tactics to steal our, our ways of life, our medicines, our spirituality. They call it witchcraft. They call it voodoo. They call it evil. And, and that, and a lot of, a lot of white men and women are now into witchcraft and voodoo and, and spirituality and, and, and astrology as whereas before they was a scared of it. They, they, they didn't believe in it. You know, now they, they flipping over car, tarot cards, astrology. You turn on YouTube, you turn on any other voodoo hoodoo. You can see that, you know, they, they're in there that now the whites are doing it because they watched our black people. They gained the wisdom of how we operate in our spirituality and they turn it against us. To control and manipulate the resources so they can be better than us. They always compete with us. And um, they want to say there's a place in hell for people who practice this. Really? Who wrote the Bible? And the Bible said there's a place in hell for people who practice this. Who wrote the Bible? Man or God? King James was a man. Who gave advice to Willie Lynch, which converted our ancestors Forced them into slave, uh, forced them to believe in Christianity, saying they're going to hell if they don't believe it, or they will kill them and be them. This is, you know, some of the reasons why. But I am a child of God, you know. Um, 98% of the racists in America are Christians, like I said, that burned and beat and raped our people and forced them into slavery. And they did this. And they had a nerve to open up the Bible on Sunday and ask for blessings and forgiveness. And they do this all week long. This is my truth and this is my struggle with Christianity. And um, these white conservative Christians who, who forced this religion on our ancestors, who have a problem with us celebrating Black History Month, you know, it's, it's become second nature to them to, to say, oh, that's racist. Oh, that's discrimination. Because that's what, this, that's what they're guilty of. You know. And a lot of our blacks in the community, they don't know their roots or they're not even interested in learning where they come from in Africa. You know, they need to delve more into the, the, you know, the royalty of the DNA. And our strength and power comes from our African spirituality. And yes, I was raised Baptist since I was 10 years old. But because this is the, the, the history of Christianity, this has been my struggle with religion. Because they're trying to throw shade at Black History Month and say it's racist. That's what they're saying. They keep saying that this whole time. You know, but they started racism first. They started the, they started uh, racism first and uh, discrimination by suppressing our ancestors, by suppressing our people. You know, that's guilt in your mind. There's a, this white woman, there was a white woman who wanted to play Harriet Tubman. I mean, we can't even have that, really? I mean, seriously, you want you want to play Harriet Tubman? She that, that's sick. I mean, you know, she want to play Har a white woman, Harriet Tubman. But they want all the, the she wanted the praise, she want the success, she want the money, she wanted the advancement, she just wanted the attention, she wanted the the notoriety because we're giving our our people notoriety in the black community. So the white woman wanted to play Harriet Tubman. I mean, they want to be gods. They want to control everything. And God has a funny way of showing them that they're not, that they can't. You know, they don't want us to know that we're great. They don't want us to, they want us to look up to them for everything. You know, our spirituality gives us power. It never speaks of weakness. It never speaks of inferiority. It speaks of empowerment, strength, wisdom, and defense. You know, I celebrate the great resignation. Quit and become your boss's competition. You know, don't work to make them rich. You know, you have the wisdom to control and operate the day-to-day -day operations of a business. You know how to do this shit in the industry. Do it. They want to mistreat you because you, they're racist. They don't like you because of the color of your skin. They want to compete with you for the, the managerial positions in the company because they despise you. They discriminate against you. Don't get mad. Quit. Use that 
that wisdom and knowledge and frustration to outsmart them, outthink them, outlast them. And um, because when we judge and bitter, bicker and fight amongst each other, that that black on black crime, that's actually the Willie Lynch syndrome, stupid. So don't hate on me. Don't hate on each other. That's a tactic that they're using to keep African-Americans division. The psychological chains, you know, uh, with this inferiority mentality, which eliminates the strength and numbers that will otherwise come from unity. All they want is the wealth. They don't care about nothing else. So we got to understand that, you know, the King James Version of the Bible been edited, altered over 30,000 times. Come on now. I, I I still believe in, but this is just my, my God honest truth about my uh, struggle with Christianity. Um, those are my two, my two main reasons. Meet me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Don't forget. Thank you so much for listening to this message. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.